So welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth and today I have a, a tips and tricks a video and uh, today we are going to talk about 3D print supports and how to remove them. So uh, you have in my opinion at least three options. Um, first and foremost using a side cutter which is probably the cheapest option, uh, depending, of course, on the tool. I am using a uh, Surin um, side cutter, which I guess is around 20 to $25. Uh, and uh, you should definitely use a side cutter that is uh, pointy like this then you will uh, be able to reach into areas and uh, snip off the supports uh, quite easily. If you have a wider cutter, that will definitely become a bit more difficult. And uh, also if the quality of the cutter itself, uh, if it's too wide in the blade, then of course it will crush the support instead of snipping the support. Then moving in on the support and, and snip it off. Uh, as you can see, th these are a bit fiddly when it comes to, uh, to, uh, to using a side cutter. Uh, it's very easy to break off the barrel. Uh, so uh, you might need some attempts. Uh, be sure that you're doing it in the correct order so it doesn't get um, any stress, uh, which will snip off the barrel. So, um, the second um, option you have is to use a hot knife. And this is a hot knife, now it is warm. Uh, so, the cost for this is around 25 to 30 dollars usually you will find these in uh, hobby stores uh, and uh, they're usually equipped with a blade and you can also replace the blade with for example an exacto blade but it definitely needs to be sharp and it is hot so please be careful it is very easy to burn yourself uh, the thing with this is um, it, it will, in some cases, if you're not careful, uh, you can destroy the, 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 the part, it can melt, uh, so it is definitely something to be aware of, uh, but uh, in most cases it's uh, it's quite easy, you just, you're melting yourself through the plastic like this and um, then you're hopefully left with a good result. Uh, let me see, for this one for example. So it's quite easy to to get the parts off and, and you don't have any uh, big vibrations or things to worry about. So for example, for, for the barrel, if I'm able to like this, so it's quite easy to get those removed without destroying the barrel itself. Uh, I have some cleanup to do here, but uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, you can also use the, the hot knife for that. Uh, so this is another good option, I would say. Um, and it's not too costly and it yields quite good results. If the supports are uh, bigger than this, uh, thicker than this, then of course it, it will, um, well, the risk of, of melting uh, the part is a bit bigger. But you can of course move away a bit from the part and then and then uh, use the knife there. So that's another good option. The third one is using 
a um, ultrasonic cutter like this model here from uh, Frozen uh, Sonic Saber. Um, this is definitely on the expensive side, so it will cost you around $250, $260, depending on, uh, on where you buy it from. So uh, it's definitely something you can invest in if you have a lot of 3D printed parts that you need to, um, to cut off. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't uh, invest in this um, but it's a good tool I would say um, usually these come with a glove like this which is uh, cut proof uh, and um, I would definitely advise using a glove like this so you don't cut into your fingers so um doesn't look like much and usually well you don't hear anything but now it's vibrating and it's vi vibrating like 35,000 times per minute um and uh, on this one you have a button uh, the well ergonomics on this one isn't very good I would say I would like it to be more like a pen shape but still this is what it, what it is um, and uh, again if you move in on the port let me find something here find your position click the button boom and then you're true uh, you can hear the small sound of, uh, of the vibrations on the part and there you go um, these th these are also actually quite good if you need to to do some adjustments so if you have like tiny things that you you need to remove like this then it's it's a very useful tool also for doing some minor shaping and so on it's it's definitely a um, a good tool for that for some fra fragile parts like these barrels it might uh, the vibrations might actually knock off the barrel as you can see here so you need to take care on again on how you do this uh, because otherwise you can easily destroy the parts uh, so of course the sequence of how you remove this uh, the supports are definitely uh, critical um, for example for uh, for the cv6 build the canopies for the planes they are quite fragile so if you don't remove the supports in the correct order you will definitely end up having several pieces. Yes, so depending on your wallet and what you're willing to invest, uh, you have then either the option of going for a ultrasonic cutter, a hot knife, or a regular side cutter. So I hope that was uh, at least a bit helpful. So until next time, keep safe.